Okay, welcome back everybody. Coffee and art in the morning. I took a little break between a, a set of art cards. Let's sip a coffee here. So before I even hit a record on part one, I took a little bit of time. Well, I did cut up a few <coughs> in part one or in the part before this and cut up a bunch of uh, art um, old art journal pages to make art cards from. You know, most of the time when I make art cards, the majority of time, I am using a blank card, you know, a, a piece of card stock. Three by four, um, yeah, three by four piece of card stock. And, uh, but sometimes I'll cut up my old journals. Scrappy Camper Sisters here. She'll, she can tell you about uh, repurposing and organizing. She and um, Darcy Glam are the uh, Scrappy Camper Sisters um, Come Clean. Well, it was 2016. Now they're still doing uh, uh, projects for 2017. So um, if you want to follow a an organization, uh kind of downsize organizing your supplies then follow the scrappy camper sisters on facebook and and everywhere so these are some of the other cards that i've cut down from old art journal pages okay i'm just and i kind of broke them out by color in case i decided to do any of these uh sets here so these are some of the ones that I really like these pink and gray set too, but I'm, I've already picked another set to work on. So you can kind of see here some of the bits. Just doing a quick little flip through here of old art journal pages that are cut up. All right, so the ones we did earlier were... This one's already varnished, and so I have it set to the side to dry. This one, and these. These are the ones we just did shortly ago. And these I give away, so. The set we're going to make now are colors of, and I got to squeeze out, let me get a fresh tray here. Well, when I say fresh, I just mean dry. Uh, of, <laughs> I got a little bit of black and white left from the last set. And now I want to get out, let's put the blue away. Let's move the brushes. I want to get out a couple of, uh, this is antique maroon. I think we'll go with this. And I'm going to move this here in a minute, guys, once I get the colors going. I just, this, this pulls the light in from the camera. Um, then I want an orange color. Let's go with burnt orange. And I got black and white and maybe a brown. I, I need to get another brown. Where's my baby wipes? Um, what did I do? Oh, here they are. I need to get some more, another russet. My browns are low stock. Let's see what color this one is. That's antique maroon as well. I'm gonna, I'll have to mix one. <clears throat> I'll just put a little black out here and mix. Looks a little bit darker. Come on, there we go. So if you have any questions, put them in caps. If you're watching this recording on YouTube, thanks for watching. It's a live show on Ustream. It's a live show on Ustream and. Um, with a live audience. I just want to get a little bit darker maroon color, but not as black as black. There we go. Could probably just lighten it, uh, tone it down and make it a more little brown. There we go. So I have a dark brown, I have black, white, orange, or uh, burnt orange, and a an antique maroon color. Because those are the colors that are already in this chopped up piece of. Um, art journal okay so let's see what happens when I move this and get a piece of wax paper so what I'm going to start with and it's probably going to kind of fade in and out a little bit while we do color sh shifts here 
Okay, so I've got, how many cards do I have here? Eight. Let's see if I can get eight out of this. And I just have it on a piece of wax paper while I add the collage bits. For collaging, I use Golden Matte Medium. It's not gel. It's just matte medium. Okay? It's not the gel medium. And I put it in a dish soap um, bottle so that I can control how much I pour out. And then also, I have a glue brush that I keep. These glue brushes are like old brushes that I just keep these in water. Now, I've had this one out for a while. I'll probably end up having to throw this one away. I've left it out for, you know, an hour and a half and it's already getting hard. But if I keep them in water, then I just pull one out for gluing and these are just for glue. And then I have a, a card to scrape down the glue with. And uh, that's pretty much all the supplies. All right, so I'm going to move these other art cards out of my way because I'm, you know, bases. I'm not going to be using these today. And uh, just have give myself a little bit more room here. And, uh, yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do... Oh, I wanted turquoise. That was the other color I wanted. Yes, 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 yes. A uh, blue grass green. Kind of a greeny, more on the green side forgot I wanted that as an accent color. There we go. Now we're set. And uh, then um, I'm going to do a little bit of collaging and painting on them. So we just kind of make our own little worlds here. I don't want it to get too flashed out, but all right. So now I'm going to kind of go through collage bits. Where's my little scissors? And uh, y'all know I like I like watches and the element of time in my mixed media. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do some little worlds here. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna kind of flip through my collage bits that I have over here to the side and pick out some things that I want. Oh, look at this. There's a little big piece of a nebula in the right colors. And also, if you uh, tear your collage bits, it's easier to blend them. I understand that these are tiny, and so, you know, a lot of times you're not going to, uh, you're not going to uh, tear. You're going to probably end up uh, cutting them out, but yeah, let's add a little bit. I want these to see how that look kind of almost looks like the uh, red rock in Utah. See, that kind of reminds me of that kind of thing. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna put some little bits down just to you know get something down on the page. If y'all have any questions, put them in caps and thanks everybody for being here. On a Friday. All right, what else do I have? Here's some uh, a nice half marble here of the color, the bluegrass green color. This will work. I'm just kind of looking for questions. If you have any, just put them in caps. I don't really, I want to keep my skies as much as I can. The black, because I'm going to put space in there. So I do want to kind of keep that as much as I can. Let's see. I think I'll put this right here. That almost looks like a jellyfish. I like that. I think we might make this half planet a jellyfish. What do y'all think? Looks like a plan to me. And then here's part of a watch that I cut out. I love little arches like this. These are always nice. So that. This is very um, impromptu. I call it like jazz collage. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's go with another half marble here. 
I'm going to have to get out some more watch bits too. I think I need another jellyfish. This one right here. We might have two jellyfish. Because there's little bits of silver kind of coming down. Hang on guys, my chat kind of froze for a minute. Hey Dot. There's a volcano at the bottom right. Yeah, that does look like a volcano, doesn't it? We might go with that. We might roll with that. I need some more watch parts though and I'll add some of my own teal color. Don't think it needs that much, just that much there. Another layer of mountain. And the white core that you see there, see I can paint that out. Although I don't think that needs it there because this, I want this to kind of go across there as part of a cliff coming out. So that looks good like that. Okay. Um, shuffling through here, guys. Shuffling through collage bits. Do I see the llama? Oh my gosh, you girls. Now I don't see the llama. <laughs> I'm sure you do, like Carrie found the squirrel in the last, the last batch. She found the squirrel. All right, let's see. I got two jellyfish. Need some more mechanicals. Ah, oh, here's another watch part. Some of them can get kind of big. I don't want it that big. I just want them to, I think I'll take off the numbers here. Trim it down. You're welcome, Terry. Thanks for coming in on your moving excursions. And thanks for sharing the pictures. What mountain was that? What mountain did you tweet that picture of? Terry, unless she's already gone. By the time she hears this, she might be gone. Just a little bit. It's left over. Mount Shasta. Okay. That's what I thought you said. Um, no, I'm not liking it there. I'm almost going to have another little bit of jellyfish down here. I don't know. I'm just liking the idea of them being jellyfish. There's three. Got an arch, an arch, a watch. I need something else for these two. That one's okay. This one needs something. <clears throat> needs another plant. A couple planets or something. Let me see if I can find some. Ah, oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. These little marbles here. These tiny ones I can make planets out of them. Thanks, guys. All right, let's see. And here's another one in that color. Kind of trying to just pick out the teal ones out of here. So again, this should catch me up. Let's see, this eight. So with 16, I think I have like 15 or 16 people on the list still. So these should catch me up. All right. for the art cards. 
Lost, yep, I, I actually did a piece. If y'all look on my uh, Ustream, I need to update that too, guys. My Ustream um, slideshow. There's the guy with that lost all his marbles. He's on that slideshow on my Ustream, Ustream slideshow, which I haven't updated in a couple of years. <laughs> I guess I should update that, shouldn't I? All right. No, I'm not liking that one there. I think it needs to go up here. That's better. And I can draw, draw. I can paint them in too. I mean, I don't have to use. All right, I'm gonna go with this. I'm just gonna roll with this right here. All right. So let me go ahead and get my little tray over here of matte medium. Squirt out a little bit more. Make sure you close that. See, I almost didn't close it enough, and it started like crusting over. All right, so let's just do one at a time here, and um, I'm gonna slide these off so I have a little bit of space. All right, and I'm gonna put it all over the whole card because that way, when I go to add the paint details, the matte medium allows me to manipulate the paint much better than if you don't have any on there. And we're going to go with this. And then I have my little card here just to kind of scrape it down if you want to smooth out. Like that. So let's just move that one aside. And I'm just going to roll with it here, guys. We're going to roll. And this is kind of hard to get off your fingers. So, you know, keep a baby wipe handy. Try to keep your hands as clean as you can. Use a craft scrubby to get it off. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to just keep rolling here. any questions put it in caps and I'll some uh, teal paint when I get to the painting stage. saying hi to you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for stopping in, chatting. If you're new. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. I think I have just enough matte medium out to finish these last two cards. Okay, let me put this brush in water, in the glue water. 
<sighs> Have I seen the movie Hugo? No, I don't even know if I've ever heard of the movie Hugo. All right, I can move the uh, wax paper now and some of this collagey stuff. So, let's see if I can just grab it all. It's all in a book. Get this off the desk because it's wanting to roll away from me. See, I got it all in that abandoned hit this with the heat gun just to kind of glue the I mean dry the matte medium a little let's see if we can get the yeah when you ask you ever tried the lira crayons no I have not tried the liras nope haven't <laughs> a little dry so I don't stick them to each other here. What was it about? Man, I'm sure I've heard of it. It's a few years ago. But it doesn't sound a bit familiar and I can tell you I didn't see it. So, yeah, I don't know. Did not see it. All right, let's see. All right, let's line the little babies up. Well, sorta line them up. And uh, put some stars on them and some detail because I got my colors right here, right? I got some watered down white here, which is pretty much dried up from the last show. So I'll add a little bit of white. Um, add, a, add a little bit of water. And where's the on one of the fluffy brushes. A boy lives inside the walls of a Paris train station. Oh, flew, flew off. That's all I saw. Oh, okay. I can, it's probably on a cable or on demand or something. Okay, yeah, I don't have, I don't have Netflix because I have on demand. So I don't pay for something else. I have cable. You know, I have cable and, uh, what do you call it? Uh, let me kind of tap this off now. I don't want to get too much. I want it real watered down. Tap off a little excess in. Let's see. Oh, see, it's a little thick there. Let's tap off a little more. There we go. See, I just want a couple. And you can do this with just a gel pen or a, the Posca as well. I just kind of... It's quicker and more uh, not uniform if you do this. Just gives it a little more imperfection. So it doesn't look like a bunch of stars just lined up like little soldiers. <laughs> And occasionally you get the little splatter of paint. I, I, I like that stuff. Alrighty, there we go. So let's move that out of the way. I'll have to look and see if it's on demand. Okay, let me take a sip of coffee because it's getting cold as usual. Alright. Now I've got to kind of play with these and see what I want to do. I wanted these to look, these three anyway, to look like uh, jellyfish. So let's see if we can do something like that. Let me get a, get a thin brush here. Where's my white paint? There it is. <clears throat> oh, okay. No, never heard of it. Hmm. But I'm not a real movie buff anymore, I'll tell you the truth. I watch Star Trek, Star Wars. 
now. I used to watch all the Disneys with the kids, you know, Frozen and Tangled and, you know, all those. Um, it, personally, I like, except for like Star Wars, Star Trek, couple movies, and even then, they're so dang loud. It's, you know, I just, I, you know, I just don't remember in the past movies being so loud. And the, uh, what do you call it, the, the advertise, you know, the uh, previews are the worst. Oh my gosh, I just can't take it. I just like, I just as soon, again, except for Star Wars and Star Trek, I just as soon wait for it to come on uh, TV and enjoy it in my home at the volume I want. I had one Tar Heel, but my cups are usually way bigger than the, the, what do you call it, the little coffee warmer thing. And besides, I really don't like the coffee sitting next to me because I'll, I'm always knocking, I'll knock it over. Okay, so something like that is a start. And this is going to be blended in, you know. So that's a start there. And I could have done this too with the, the Posca. But I just thought, hey, let's just go with the let's go with the brush today. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're laughing at, Vicky. The part that I said is the loud or the knocking my coffee over. I didn't really knock it over the last time. It splashed up under my under Lappy. Because I have Lappy is right here. Lappy is up on look. Lappy is up on a um let me see if you can see here. Sorry, guys. Wait a minute. Now I move my mouse. I can't. Lappy is... Let me move my pencil shavings. Here. There you go. See how it's up on a pantry rack? So that if I spill any coffee, it just, you know, would roll under here. But what happened was it splashed up and went underneath Lappy. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was a little worried there for a day. I put a fan underneath of it. A little small fan. Under Lappy. Hang on, I gotta get my chat back here. And uh, let it dry out, and it it came back to life. <laughs> so. My daughter has Netflix. They don't have cable. She's, I don't think, I don't know that she's ever had cable since she had the kids. Maybe at when they were like newborns. But as soon as they were able to watch TV, she's never had cable since. They have Netflix, but she's, she doesn't have cable. Of course, you know, they, now they're at the age where they just watch whatever they want on the internet. <laughs> I mean, you know. Oh, your Paisley book came. Thank oh good, Julie Topaz. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, um, Vicky got hers too. You you two are the most hard working colorers of the year. I know Vicky goes, I can't believe it. I I can't believe I got a, something for doing the most work. <laughs> but she did. have a couple swirly ones there. Okay, let's see what else we can do. 
Alright, let me put those to the side for a minute. Those three. Those are pencil shavings. So let's look at these five. See what I want to do. <laughs> I think I'll start with a pencil and just let me sharpen my pencil and um, see, kind of map some things out that I might want to paint in. Like under here. I think I'll have water on this one. Let's see. Let's pick some brushes here. I need a smaller brush. Where's my little it's not it. I gotta find another brush. I need a little flat one. Ah, here we go. Just need a little flat brush. Dry brush some of this. Water's in the storm too. Don't I have Easter candy. Really? <laughs> kind of reading chat here, guys, while I'm doing this. I'm going to keep a lot of it just kind of like it is. It's kind of has its own little life to these. <laughs> and then I think I want... Let's go with the planet right there. Oh, it needs just a little bit. Let's put a little bit of teal right in here. Just to have a little bit of teal in there. Just because I want some. Kind of could be rocky. DRD, anybody else popping in? We're just working on some art cards here so I can send some more out. Know what I mean, Vern? Kind of a little puddle right there. brighter in a couple areas. So, well, anybody got any plans over the weekend? We know our Terry will be unpacking. <laughs> yep, I've been here since probably about 8.30. So, it's only 11.30. This is part two of an art card day. All right. All right, let me set this one aside. Let's go back to the octopus ones a little bit. I want a little bit of, little, like little uh, flary things here. All right, let me get in with the maroon here. A little bit of the black and the maroon. Can always go back and add more stars. Just want to kind of blend this so there's not a uh, harsh white line there. And I think I'll put two. 
almost it would look like antennas. I don't want to not think I want to do that. Hmm. All right, let's just go to each one here and kind of blend in the landscape. Nothing major, just a big old ice storm party here. <laughs> yeah, we had we didn't get it ice down here. We got uh, snow and ice north Georgia, but we didn't get it down here. Okay, just going a little bit on each one here, guys, and I'll take pictures of them all, so. I need a little more orange in these, I think. A little more orange. A little bit more teal. I think I want a little seam down in there. Two twelve and Jamie, Poppy Girl. And now it doesn't look in <laughs> well, tell me the problem. <laughs> I can't, I don't know what you did, and it's not supposed to look exactly like mine. I mean, don't feel like you have to have yours look exactly the same as everybody else's either. Because it's not going to happen, you know. You're not going to get it exactly like somebody else's. All right. Do I want that to be look like a little mountain back there with a little bit of clouds cutting across? Maybe. I think I want a little road coming up this way. You know, like this. Maybe something like that. It's got to be very subtle. It's got to be small. something going on over here maybe don't know if there's some kind of little buildings or something going on over here in the distance put a little orange in there The problem is I always start a tutorial and end up going your own way, which is a good thing. Curling up a couple of good books and reading this weekend. Oh, that'll be nice, ye. Well, there's nothing wrong with that DRD. You don't have to have it look like anybody else's. I'm just kind of playing with a little paint here, guys, in my little world. I'm in my own little world. <laughs> <coughs> Sip of coffee. Hopefully, I probably need something to draw the light back. Carrie's going to visit her pup. Okay, I'm liking this. Just kind of go through, you know, card to card. Till you get what you like. Then I'll add some pencil too. 
too thick. A little thick. There we go. Get a little bit more orange in there. There you go. Be a nice touch. get it much they're, they're really kind of flashed out guys if I could get something to pull the light back in let's see here was my what is it oh. this pulls the light back but then I don't want to be working on top of this you know but there you go you can see it a little better there see Let's see if I can lock, lock this in a little bit. It's a little bit, uh, yeah, let's see how that works. Uh, okay, let's just leave it here. <laughs> I'll just kind of work on top. The light's coming through my window again, and that messes everything up. I need to just close all the, look at that. I just need to close all the windows. There's his brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. I laughed at myself there. Alrighty, now where's the one here? <laughs> okay, now I think I want to do. Where's my Posca? I want this to come through the clouds, through that, right off the edge there. And then this one come right through there. Like that. Alrighty, I like that. <laughs> yes! I know, I keep telling you, you're weird. It's the only way I can keep my light, you know, light lock or not. With the, if the sun comes through my, uh, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Window. Alright, where's my teal? Oh, going to be two. Yeah, I want a little bit darker one. There we go. These two. <laughs> uh, and then my white pencil. Here we go. <laughs> I know it's hilarious. Alrighty, I like that. Some of this little detail show a little bit more down here. The tiny bits. I want to put a little bird right here. Why not? Some kind of flying bird right there. Add a couple more stars. Let's hit the highlights on the road right here. There we go. I'm liking that there. What do y'all think? Needs a little orange under there. Oh. There's a little sienna. Just needs to set that back. There we go. That's what it needed. Just a little set down there. Um,
There's that one. See the little bird right there? Yeah, I don't know, Dorothy. I don't usually get to make them until a recording. So I don't know. I haven't heard any updates. Okay. There we go. I think I'm going to call that one done. I, I mean, i got to varnish it and paint the back and all that, but I like that one. Needs a little, where's my black pencil? Needs a little bit of tweaking in the watch. Needs a little bit more. There we go. All right, so we're going to go with that one. Now let's go on and just pick a random one here. So I'm going to set that aside as done. I want to get, you know, I want to get these done. <laughs> Next 30 minutes or so. Oh, look. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so hilarious when they're on top of a face. Maybe another kind of a, you know what, maybe a crab or something. Maybe something, I think I'll put a little crab there. Because it's like, like water thing? No, it's going to look like a tick. <laughs> I got to get rid, it's going to look like a tick. I don't want it to look like a tick. <laughs> Let's put a little bit more. Let's just cover that tick up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah I didn't want that on there it just looked too much I was thinking you know because I put the bird on this one and I thought well you know it's underwater like thing you know I think a little creature right there would be good I think I just need to find a little you know horseshoe crab or something <laughs> and just glue it on there <laughs> Okay, I need a little paint. I need a little bit of the brown paint here. <laughs> you like watching them? Well, I'm not very zoomed in. Here, let's go ahead. I'll try, guys. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little. <laughs> Because I usually, you know, don't zoom in. Let's refocus. Every time. Let's see. If I come right here, I think. There you go. can see a little better. Sometimes, you know, I, it's best to see the whole process. Sometimes it's better to see it kind of zoomed in. <clears throat> I'll show them all again real close up when we get done. And it 
just fun to play with. Because, you know, you can just look at them, make anything up you want. It's your happy little world. It's your happy little world. That's going to look like a face if I'm not careful. Better not put one there. But it does look good with a little bit of dark in there. So I think I'll add that. All right, let's see. I think I'll just set this one aside for right now. Maybe a little bird in here. I don't know. Maybe a little bird. Could be flying across here. It does kind of look like a dream catcher, doesn't it? We could probably put some lines in there to make it look like one. Let me see. Let me look at the strings on one because I haven't seen one in a while. Let me look one up real quick. All righty, let's see. Um... All right, let's see, some images. Okay, well there's a gazillion different designs on them. The way the strings are, there's a ton of different ones. Know what I mean, Burn? I don't know that there's a certain pattern you know, I don't know if there's a certain pattern to them. Um, they all look different to me. Where do you buy? Oh, where do I buy my individual Prismas? Um, if I go to Blick, like the actual store, or if I place an order for something else, I can, I'll like supplement an order with a couple. But if I just like black and whites, I pick these up all the time at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. You know? Um, yeah, so both, Vicki. Let's see. I'm looking at the Dreamcatcher strings. And... Let's look at this. Let's go with this one, maybe. I'm just looking at the string designs. Why isn't it locking in? Why isn't it giving it to me? Come on. Come on. Lock in there for me. Oh, come on. I know my iPad's not that slow. Am I got a bad spot or something? Let's see. Try a different one. I don't know why. I'll have to go on my phone. Hang on. My iPad sometimes freezes up right in this spot for whatever reason. So let's go. Let's go on uh, my phone. I'll find it on the phone. All right. All right. Let's go with the dream catcher. All right, where was the one I had? Did 
Do you all know if there's a certain pattern? I guess, guess there's really not. They all look different. Yeah, you can buy them online individually at Blick. I'll just, like, if I have a 30% off your total purchase, you know, or something like that, Vicki, I'll go in and get a whole bunch of them. I don't want to make it too complicated here, you know. They're just strung on there in any any pattern. I mean, because I'm seeing like a hundred different patterns. I guess there's no certain <clears throat> pattern. Oh, good grief. No, I don't want that. Don't want Pinterest. Let's go back. Come on. I guess I'll just pick one I like. Just some, some you know, crossy over V ones. I'll go with the simple one. All right. Let's see. I think I'll do it in pencil first. this and then crossing over this way kind of like a flower shape one like that then have some kind of like like they're attached sort of from the middle I'm going to go with this idea. Then maybe we'll do a feather right here. How about that? So now, let's kind of accent our little bird a little more. Something like this. We're making this up as we go. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's kind of thicken up a little bit of the string thing here. Make sure it looks like it's strung on there. What do y'all think? Does it look like a dream catcher? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's do another little feather here. These are farther back. What do y'all think? All right. All right, better quit. It's going to get too busy if I'm not careful. Let's 
a couple extra. Alrighty. All right, there's our dream catcher one. Let's move along. Moving along. <laughs> okay, bye TNT. Put another tick on there if you keep going. Oh, yeah, no, we don't want any ticks. <laughs> Vicky. All right, let me soften up the feather. Just soften it up a little here. All right, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna move along. <laughs> All right, so what do we have? Do we have two done now? <laughs> it's like, oh boy, two done. Just got those two. All right, let's go over here to a jellyfish. Give it a little softness to it. Just a little something, something going on over here on the sides. Not sure if it needs any more. Might need a couple more stars. Could actually use some splatter in here. Where's my soft brush? Oh, no, that's not it. Here we go. Okay. Let's add a little bit more squirt of water. Water that down a little. Whoops. Got a drip. There we go. All right, now let me dry that because I want one shooting star across here. I think I want it right here. Maybe I'll put some blue on it too. Okay, I think I'll go with that one. You have to be careful. I mean, sometimes when you do this kind of thing through something living, it looks like you've stabbed them. <laughs> you know, I don't want it to look like it's been a spear through it. That happens sometimes. All right. Call that one done too. Keep a we'll keep a couple of them kind of simple. Like that one. Let's do one. Where's the other two jellyfish? Let's do those two as well. Let's do a little splatter. We'll keep these really simple. Let's put a couple. A little planet or something up here in blue. Well, the teal color, I should say. And a few highlighted ones. Hey, Marilyn, welcome back. Let's add a little bit of um, kind of maybe misty kind of thing going on here. I hear my mailman coming.
Almost like it's coming out of this dark spot here. Coming out of a black hole. y'all think You like a jellyfish? <laughs> yeah, me too, Vicky. We drew, we've drawn some on the big art scroll, but it's been a while since we've done anything with jellyfish, hasn't it? Or an octopus. All right, I want this to have like a blue rim on it. Okay, I think I'll leave that. Could be a mechanical one. We could put some little knobs on it. Let's do one, let's do two more. Can't get it any closer than that, guys. I'll just flash out. All right. Jean woke up. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jean woke up. could look like water waves but at the same time not yet Trying to get these done, guys, so I hope this hasn't been too, you know, you know, I'm trying to keep it kind of interesting, <laughs> you know?
Again, I could have it really dark down here at the bottom. guys I think what do y'all think <clears throat> those two needs a little bit of glow to it here it's gonna get lost in the Let's make it. Now it's had a little bit of orange. Sharpen. That's better. It's less. A little knock that back a little. Okay. y'all think? Does that look okay? Alright, those, there's those two. Oh, I got those two. We got this one. Orange up here. And then we got this one, which is really bright. Um, and we got this one. And the only one I have left to do is this one. So let's finish this baby. Let's get this one done. <sighs> orange Not saying much, I'm just trying to get her done.
Thanks, Jean. I think I'm going to call it a day, guys. I'll hold them all out, take a quick picture. I almost could use just a little bit of something going on back here. Like some kind of little buildings, some little something something going on right back in here. Let's up oh, my heat gun. Let's take a picture. I know it's gonna flash out again. Look, come on, camera. Alrighty. Well, you can kind of see them there. I'm gonna take pictures. I'll post them. So let's go ahead and line up these eight. We did six the first time. Uh oh, we didn't work on this one. We got two left. All right. I'm not gonna do them right now though. We'll go with these six. <laughs> All right, let's back out. Oh. All righty. Let's go ahead and go with these six for now. And um, put a couple pencils out here. Let's see where's a good spot. Over here, maybe. Mm, I want to cover up the little bird. Let's go right here. Let's go with a couple pencils right here. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. Thanks for being here. That'll work. They're overlapped a little, so. All right. Where's my camera? Where's my phone? Oh, yay, yay. Don't even know where my phone is. Where'd it go? Okay. <laughs> Don't even know where my phone went. Here it is. All right. So. Okay, yeah, so those and the other set and again i didn't finish i got two more here so i'll finish these two as well and then i have enough to send out next week because i have to varnish them still i've got to paint the backs well this one's painted already because this came from a already painted background um so i have to uh, paint the background sign them and varnish all the fronts so yeah so anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed a couple of art card shows. And uh, yeah, yeah, have a good weekend, Carrie. How far is the drive? Is it very far for you? I mean, like hours or miles? And we all are hoping the best for Terry and her move. And, uh, yeah, guys. Okay. Yeah, what time is that, Eileen? I don't, I don't, don't know that schedule, Eileen. Kind of throw these out here a little bit. So when they're varnished, I think they'll be kind of nice. 
Okay, and then I guess Barb comes on at two. So, all right, guys. Well, we will see you later. Thanks again. We will, um, yeah. Oh, Barb's not streaming today? Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.